been dealing with this for 15 years. Been to hospitals, paid thousands of dollars. They all say everything no. looks good. Something's going on. Yeah, and they no. can't. Fi they can't figure it out. Fifteen years ago or something like that, I was in a motorcycle accident when I was 17. Got hit from behind and the act of actually jumped off the motorcycle. The motorcycle went one way and I was up in the air at like 45, 50 miles an hour and impacted the the Oh like the yeah, yeah, everything just boom and, and then rolled over several times and hit the back of my head. That was part of it. Like here not too long ago, but I guess what, what was it fifteen years ago? I was uh, riding a bike in the middle of the heat in McAllen. Yeah. I'm a competitive person. <laughs> so uh, there was somebody that was coming up behind me and I tried to stay ahead of him. When I stopped at the bridge, like, it, it, it felt like uh, I was fixing it. Like, pass out, I couldn't breathe, like, almost like a um, heat, heat stroke. Oh my gosh, okay. So I had to just lay on the, on the, uh, on the bridge and just sit there and uh, luckily there was a hurricane so there was wind like going over the bridge and I was able to cool off. <laughs> Never been the same since. I don't know, I don't know if, I, if it affected nerves in, in my neck. Been having dizziness, pressure in the eyes, ringing in the ears, ears wanting to close off. You really? know, but, and then I, I just kind of move my neck and then it kind of it opens back up. Okay. And the ringing stops. So I, I'm, you know, I've been to hospitals, paid thousands of dollars for like to get checked, uh, MRIs, uh, all kinds of scans. Uh, they, they all say everything no. looks good. And, you know, of course it's good to hear that. Correct. You know, that it's good, but something's going on. Yeah, and they like, can't fi they can't figure it out. X-rays, MRIs, what like, all the scans. Everything came back normal, negative, you know, or and good. Yeah, you know, so no, no, no tumors, no nothing. Blood work looked great, like, uh, but still d been dealing with this for 15 years. The, the dizziness, the uh, pressure in the eyes. Uh, and this kind of like a constant, like oh, always, always. Uh, uh, some some days I'll have I'll be better than than others, uh, but okay. for the most part, <clears throat> I deal with the like the like a slight like right now I feel like a, just a little bit woozy kind of. Okay. And that and that's from from that you know and I feel pr pressure and the base of the skull. I, I feel like something in there like just needs to pop or get put in place or something. I don't I don't know what it is, but. Oh. And, and, and it's up to the mid, mid back. Like when I look down or whatever, I feel it here, mid, mid back and, and, and all the way up. You're dealing with this every freaking day now. Pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. I've seen chiropractors, acupunctures, and they always say it's going to take about a year. And he goes for a little bit and he gets agitated because he even no. Yeah, you're not seeing any yeah. relief, any no, change, no. Right, any. Right. right. Oh my gosh. How is just movements? Uh, I mean, I, I hear like little crackle. I don't know if it's normal if you can hear like little crackling or whatever when, when you, okay. you eat yourself, like, or it feels smooth. But like, like when I move, I can hit, I can actually like hear like little. Gotcha. <clears throat> he pops his chest a lot, and that's weird to me. But one of them. That. Okay. And he's out and he's actually had it looked at and they say there's no scar tissue, nothing there, but it, he feels tightness in his chest. Well, when I do that, yeah. when I do that, it, I can actually feel like I feel more breathe, 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 yeah, like oxygen for, for, for a little while. And that, I mean, it's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know why it's, there's scar, it's, to me it's like scar tissue. Inside the rib cage. Yeah, and and that's you know, what it feels like to. Like, yeah, yeah, to pop it and, and you get that relief, you know, because you get like I could like move it and you know before I pop it and, and feel like a little like a little pull. Yeah, and then and then I, and I do that and move it and, and it pops and it relieves that that gotcha. pull. Yep. So I, I don't know what that has to do with. I mean I don't know. It's all connected, you know, or, or whatever, but. 
Now, what about lower? Any issues uh, really or not really much? Uh, not, not as much. I, I do have lower back, I guess, like, maybe from that impact with the motorcycle. But, yep. uh, this. but it, it, it's my, my main concern is like, or fo focus would be like this and, and up here to get, you know, try to get rid of that dizziness or the pain or <clears throat> I don't know. I just don't know what to do anymore. I hear you. And then, it's been how long? How many years? Close to 16, actually. Yeah, like 16 years. Yeah. And then thousands of dollars in and out of the hospital. Yeah. And then you like, got, I feel stiff. What is that on your right side of your face, stiff. baby? Uh, Bell's palsy. Okay. But I, I think I did that, did that myself with the, the little gun like that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I was doing it around here and here, and then I put it like like around here, uh -huh. and I was told that that uh, like in this area or something, so a limp limp node. Yeah. And I, and I did it right there because I, it, it kind of itched the. It felt like it was. Uh, you know how when you do your ear like that, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. for you know, to, you have an itch or something inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, it just felt so good that I, that I kept it there, <laughs> and uh, like maybe a, a week or, or you know something like that, I ended up getting the Bell's palsy. And it freaked, so I think I did something in that uh, lymph node that, to cause. So then you're some freaking nerve. out with that too. You're like, yeah. 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 But you need another thing to go to have. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they tried to put him on anxiety medicine saying that his pressure from his chest and his back and his neck has to do with anxiety. So, but he doesn't like to take the anxiety medicine. Yeah, I don't, I don't like medication. He doesn't like medication. I, I don't like to feel um, like normal. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like the sensation of like high or whatever. I just... No, I don't blame you. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> go, um, go face down on the table. Alright. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness when I'm pushing in. It just feels like, I don't know, I mean, there, there's, it's all that you're doing, you know. It's not like super sensitive, but I feel some type of something. Okay. Yeah, like I can tell all this is really tight. Definitely have some misalignments in the neck. strength in you. <laughs> Even still, your body is holding. I mean, again, very little bit, but yeah, it's holding a good amount. Oh, 
I'm sweating already. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Bring another arm up here. Soft tissue work. Let me get into this trap here. Oh my god. and scar tissue that Hot so the first one I'm going across the um, going across the trap second one what I like doing is getting deep underneath the scapula so when you bring your arm back it actually opens up that inside right. part of the scapula and I can just get enough and then I'm taking my nice little plastic That's thumb yeah like and I'm getting wow. right up in there I mean you touched every freaking little tender spot <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wow dude <laughs> oh, man. Like yeah, that like right there on your your left hand, that little like a little bit lower, right right there, freaking crap, dude. <laughs> oh man, what causes that to be so stinking tender right there? Well, with you, it could have been a million different things. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Motorcycle accident yeah. and all. Oh, well, and I, I do, you know, labor intestine work. Mm. So, a lot of lifting and... Go, um, go face down again for me. Oh, Lord, you have mercy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite a bit better, actually. All right, I'm gonna stabilize on the sacrum here. I want you to raise your right leg up for me, as high as you can. Okay, any pain with that? No. Good. Left side, any pain with that? Uh, a slight, not much. Cross your left foot over your right foot. Oh, 
Shit. you were trying to pop like in the mid back yeah like I just the soreness like it just I don't know it's weird <laughs> oh man <sighs> man damn <laughs> you see the videos man but god I mean it's way different in person it's like right? jeez jeez Come up, sit for me. So I'm gonna use a massager, and then I want to do that again for you. Thank 
come back down. <laughs> It just seems like I have, like, my vision is clear. God. You know, it's like, just everything seems clear. Um, seems like that, like the dizziness just kind of went away, like. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I think that I think that first one started loosening everything up because I know you felt it. You said like went back, and that second one, I gave a little extra oomph on that one too. But. Yeah, you, you know like when you've been in pain for so long and things that you've been feeling and then when it just goes away like that. 24 hours a day, 16 years. 16 years. 16 years. In and out of hospital. Doctors, x-rays, EKGs, and you name it. MRIs, CAT scans. Chiropractors, acupuncture, nothing. They said that he had a parasite. That's why he was having all those problems. Did six months treatment. And the parasite. Still, parasite was still there for some reason. But still the same symptoms after symptom. Where he literally would just, I had to pray because he literally was just kind of giving up. You know, and then after a tragic of losing his best friend, brother, last year to this COVID stuff has brought on even more yeah, like right. depression and the heaviness and I noticed that he was no release and he just went to go see another chiropractor in town and he's like can't do it grace he said six months and he still does it a few times I want to see him three times out of the week still no release and it's just like <laughs> my lord I don't know what to do Rest. and he doesn't fly and we float and we flew in <laughs> Yeah, I have a phobia for for flying. Do you? And he yes. did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you on that. I'm gonna tell my wife, even if my life depended on it, I would still have to think about getting on a plane. <laughs> That's how bad of a phobia I have. But... Dang. I just had to, had to do something, you know. Um, 
Uh, I mean, I mean, very slight, nice. but not like it was. Not like it's been. Yeah. And then I know it was like the the constant ringing and. Yeah. How's that? <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, at this point, I'd like it's just just different. Like it's just different. Wow. This is when going to a chiropractor the type of relief you should be getting. I mean, picture if you if you were seeing me three times a week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just this once is like life changing. The color, I you know, you're not the first person to say anything about the colors. I've had many people say the clarity and. Well, I know that has to do with the neck because um, uh, when I would get <clears throat> symptom type of symptoms like with dizziness or whatever, I'd get like a cold rag okay. and put it on the back of my neck, and you could it would clear your vision up. Gotcha, gotcha. So okay. the your vision has to do with with your neck, so somehow your nerves or whatever. Uh -huh. But oh man. It just, it just, <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm feeling jealous, but I don't think I'm going through all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't hold back. I, I mean, well, awesome. I thank you that. For that. <laughs> Even though it hurt. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I don't hold back. That, that, the, the, the result that comes out of it, you know, it's like... Well, that's the whole point. I mean, you went through a terrible motorcycle accident. I mean, that wasn't, you know, when you get into an accident, it's not like it's like, oh, I got hit or what. Like, dude, you're getting tossed around, whatnot, you know. So picture, you think a little, it was gonna fit, no, freaking like, I, I rock people. Wow. I mean, you can't always tell in the videos, like when I do the drops, I'm putting a ton of force in on them drops. Oh, yeah. And I'm, <laughs> I'm getting things to move because that, that's the game plan. Yeah. That's what I'm looking to do. Yeah, I felt the very first one lifting my leg up and you push like, <laughs> and then it just wasn't as intense because it something did move. Yep. Like, wow. yep. That's wow. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, this is how you need to be all the time. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. It's unbelievable. That's crazy. Dealing with this for 16 years and like to get, this is the relief that I, that I was wanting. Yeah. You know? Crazy. And was hoping. Yep. And I know, like for you with x-rays, MRIs, everything, just looking to see like, like let me know what in the world is wrong with me. It's almost... Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing that it's like, okay, no tumor, no, you know, right. so you're relieved of that, but then it's still like the question, exactly, what's causing exactly. all of this pain, all of the dizziness, the, you know, like all of this, and not getting an answer, it's a... Uh, yeah, discouraging. Yeah? You know. Wow. <clears throat> well, thank you for that. Definitely. For that. She, she's the one that... <laughs> I, mean, I, I saw your videos and stuff, but she's like... I just, she's the one that planned everything or whatever. She, she made you try to help me out. <laughs> try to help me out, you know. So, thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. Heck yeah.